I'm Lisa Yen. I'm the Director of Programs and Outreach for LACNETS, and I'm at the GI ASCO conference with Dr. Simran Singh from Sunnybrook, Toronto. And um, he's a NET expert and the principal investigator of the NETR2 trial, which he just presented here. So we're really excited about this um, phase three trial that you presented and the data. Um, if you could just explain a little bit what you shared and, and what it means. Yeah, thanks so much. No, I'm very excited to be able to share. This was the first trial we had in the more aggressive neuroendocrine cancers. We hadn't had any trials before this. Uh, so this trial looked at upfront PRRT. So that means that patients, as soon as they were diagnosed, got PRT, which is a bit different than we've been using PRT before, which is generally we've been using somatostatin analogs like lanreotide or otreotide first, and then proceeding to PRT. This trial looked at what if we use PRT first, especially for some slightly more aggressive cancers. Yeah. So what did it show? Well, it showed a very positive result. It showed that upfront PRT did much better than using even high-dose somatostatin analogs, in this case, octreotide. Uh, it also showed that the tumors responded very nicely, uh, and the tumors shrunk and in some cases disappeared uh, with upfront uh, radioisotope therapy or PRT. Wow, shrunk or disappeared? How many patients did that affect? So what we call is called the response rate. Um, it was 43%, uh, which means that almost half the patients, their disease shrunk or disappeared. That's not including the patients where it stayed stable. And what we did see was a 72% reduction in the tumor growing or death uh, with this uh, upfront treatment. So that's fairly significant. That's nearly three quarters. That's really exciting. Absolutely. So what does this mean for patients? Look, I think especially for patients who had a slightly more aggressive neuroendocrine cancer, we didn't know how to start treating them before. This gives us a lot more data and it certainly opens a new door and option for patients uh, who have uh, a slightly more aggressive neuroendocrine cancer. Yeah. And what does more aggressive mean? So the way we classified neuroendocrine cancers, G1, G2, and G3, this study included all the G3s and the, the, the more aggressive half of the G2s, so KI-67 from 10 to 20%. Okay, okay. So um, understanding the tumor is important. Absolutely. And what does it mean for people who may have already gotten PRT? Well, what's interesting is there is a retreatment extension phase on this uh, study, which means people who got PRT then get a chance for retreatment. Um, now we are, that data isn't ready yet, it's still undergoing, so we'll hopefully have more data on that. But in the meantime, we do have other trials like the Net Retreat trial, which we are doing um, through the cooperative group, which looks exactly at that. Uh, people who've had four cycles of Lutathera, giving them more Lutathera. So that's pretty exciting as well. And that's opening now throughout centers as we speak. Yeah. Well, I know when I interviewed several of the net experts, Dr. Coons, Dr. Half Danerson, Dr. Strasberg, at the end of the year, they said the thing they were looking most forward to in 2024 was this data from this trial. So what is most exciting to you about this? I'd say, you know, the the 72% uh, reduction in risk of progression. You know, this treatment works and it's really wonderful to be able to offer new treatment and uh, help to define for those patients who have a slightly more aggressive neuroendocrine cancer, know that we can use this front to first line and uh, potentially offer, you know, hopefully chances for better outcomes for patients. We like that. That word hope, so powerful. Well, thank you for all you do for this, for the work on this trial and others, and we look forward to hearing more. Great. Thank you, Lisa.